Well, you've seen this person in the office, on the train, and in the coffee shop. Maybe you are this person, the one carrying two cell phones, that is, one for work and one for self. It may seem excessive, but more and more employees are jumping on the two-phone wagon as the work-life balance gets ever harder to maintain. Elizabeth Holmes joins me now with her two phones to explain herself and the phenomenon. Welcome to you. Hey Lee. Okay, two phones. Yes. What's that about? So I carry two phones and I found that a lot of people do the same because they want a little bit of a divide between work life and personal life. I have my work issued Blackberry which isn't necessarily the coolest phone but it's highly <laughs> functional and then I have my personal iPhone and so I do all of my work functions on this phone and I take pictures and um, use apps and everything else on my personal phone. Does having this work email on a personal phone make it harder to detach? No, I actually like it because when you know, on weekends when I know that I'm not going to need to check my work email, I can kind of put my BlackBerry away and then I don't have to think about work. And I found a lot of people like that too. They like having something that they can sort of physically put aside and then they don't always have to think about it. Because I know people who carry one phone, sometimes they'll be using their phone for one thing, they'll get an email from work, they'll feel really tempted to get involved and then it, it, it sort of enters stress into the picture that they didn't really not necessarily want or need. Uh, it's really important to remember that people are actually paying more to have their own phone when they could just use the company issued cell phone yes. for personal use. What did the people you spoke with have to say? about this choice. So my husband is one of those people he wishes I would kind of get rid of my personal phone because it is an added expense but I think after talking to a privacy attorney for this piece I sort of feel really comfortable about my two phone lifestyle because frankly when you have a company issued device the company can take that at any time and they can really have access to whatever data is on there whenever they want it. You know there's good reasons for that for litigation and things sure. um, but they can wipe it they can if you lose it you know I mean they can get rid of all the data and things like that and so it's important I think for people who care about that stuff that having two phones sort of eliminates that risk. Any tips for carrying them? Because it's got to be <laughs> It's hot. not the coolest thing in the world, I will say. And Do you have women, the holster like on with, your belt? I mean, never. <laughs> <laughs> for women you. with clutches, there's just, there's no clutch big enough. Um, but for guys, it's really a challenge, too, because it's, you know, there's only so many pockets you have on a person. And yeah. then there's sort of the charger element of it, too. One guy I talked to had six chargers, one <laughs> for each of his phone in his office, his home, and his car. You so. need that charger, because yeah. you never know. I always have to be plugged in. Well, thank you very much, <laughs> Thanks, two phones. Yes. Appreciate it. <laughs>